I really thought long and hard about this because I knew you were here and I thought, you know what? I've got to give you something special to walk away with. Listen, you know I love to give gifts and from the bottom of my heart, I thought this was appropriate for you. It's from me and I thought you deserve this. You've earned this, okay? My orthopedic drag shoes. Take them, bitch. Take the shoes. Because if you wear these for once, they won't notice your ashy knees. They'll be looking at the shoes. There you Thanks. are. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> Hi, it's Bianca Del Rio, and welcome back to The Pit Stop, where we recap all things RuPaul's Drag Race season 15. And today, my special guest is a dear friend, which I'm excited that... That's not what I want to say. I don't want to say dear friend. <laughs> Hi, it's Bianca Del Rio, and welcome back to The Pit Stop, where we recap all things RuPaul's Drag Race season 15. And today I am joined by a former Pit Stop host, the fabulous Miss Monet Exchange. Oh, this, you, I like what you've done with the place, girl. Uh-huh, we got lights up in here, And a budget, we? this That's, is nice. It is, how's life? Life has been good, you know, I have been uh, touring with Bob. Mm -hmm. I've been doing a lot of stand-up following your shoes. Wait, 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 wait. Who is Bob? <laughs> a bozo the Clown. Got it, yeah, got it, bozo got it, got it. So you've been touring? I've been touring, yeah. I've been doing all these stand-up gigs around the country and I'm doing the Wait. Moon Tower Festival. Hold on a second. You are doing stand-up. I am. You were doing stand-up comedy. Yes. Well, I guess anything is possible now. If you can do stand-up comedy, Bob the Drag Queen could be a rapper. <laughs> well, congratulations! Thank you all. Here I was feeling all sad for you because you didn't win All Stars. I know. <sighs> that was rough, wasn't it? No, no, you know what? But a fierce ass bitch one, Jinx Monsoon is killing it on Broadway. So bow to the queen. This is good. Yeah. What a beautiful statement, but it's total bullshit. You don't really <laughs> believe that, do you? That bitch! Exactly! I hate her! It's the grand finale, and today's very special episode is brought to you by our absolute favorite, bubbly sparkling water. Girl, you know you can't get enough bubbly. Well, Monet, we have a lot to discuss. Yes, ma'am. And I love that we always reunite with a bubbly. Now, what flavor do you have? Grapefruit bubbly. Well, I have cherry bubbly. Hmm. Now, let's have a sip before we get into this, shall we? Mmm. Mm. Satiated. Mm -hmm. That's not good. Mm -hmm. That is correct. Yes, yes, lubricated. Mm -hmm. I love that drink. Mm -hmm. You have not been to the pit stop since your star turn on All Star 7. What was that experience like? You know, the fans are saying that All Star 7 was one of the greatest seasons of Drag Race ever. Fashion, comedy, uh, dancing, acting. They loved it. So while we're talking about All Star 7s, you were top two with the fabulous Jinx Monsoon, mm -hmm. who we're all friends with. Of course, we love Jinx. And as you said, Jinx has been doing well. Jinx is on Broadway, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. But my big question is, if you were in the top two with Bob the Drag Queen, who would win? Bitch, first of all, his knees, the knees alone will take him out. Have you ever seen Bob try to walk up a flight of stairs? Have I ever seen Bob try to do anything successfully? <laughs> girl. Anything active, girl. Girl. So that's not the question. I would have <laughs> annihilated Bob. The, but here's the thing. Tell if me. they would have cast me and Bob on All Stars together, it would have been the sibling rivalry show. Mm -hmm. And none of these bitches would have got a word in, word in edgewise. So the right thing was done. Now the big question is, I know during All Star 7, I didn't watch, it's just on my cards, but they told me that there was some controversy about someone that you had sex with. Oh. That you Thank God. somebody <laughs> on All Star 7. So just clear this up for us now because there's some rabid fans that are on here watching right now. Tell us. Okay. Who you, who you? Everyone is asking who Monet, who Monet. I think the person that you is Madonna. <laughs> she chose Bob. You know, the what? doors I opened for Bob the Drag Queen, okay? Ooh. Bitches weren't out here canceling tours for Madonna. I was the original. I was the one to put Bob on. She was the blueprint. And I've she never gotten a thank you. Can you oh. believe that? Mm. Ungrateful bitch. That is, she is a bitch. Speaking of all these successful endeavors you have, I know that you and Bob the Drag Queen have out currently right now your very own makeup line. 
BOMO Beauty, honey. BOMO Beauty. Tell us about BOMO Beauty. Where can we get it? What's it about? How did this happen? One of my favorite parts of drag is sitting down to actually get in the gig and to and to feel a, a, a luscious eyeshadow, to, to pump up my lips to look juicy and full. So I wanted to come up with a makeup line. So Bob and I started BOMO Beauty. Mm. It's been launched this year. And honey, we have our pretty funny palette out, which is available at BOMOBeauty.com. And it is an eight pan shadow palette and it opens up the, so you see both of our little pretty funny dualities displayed in front of you to do your makeup. This is amazing. We actually brought one yeah. for you today. Thank you. Finally, a free gift. We actually have one we're going to mail to you At tomorrow. Yeah. How convenient. Yeah. How convenient. convenient. Yeah, yeah. I'm just shocked that you two are doing anything related to beauty. This is quite shocking. <laughs> I mean, especially Bob. Let's be real. She's not known <laughs> for that mug. She's doing eyeshadow. She needs to do something for razor burn. That's what she needs. You see that face in HD, bitch. Under her neck looks like the bottom of a Nestle crunch candy bar. Now, on a serious note, yeah. the question is, have you been watching season 15? I have been watching season 15. I am loving a lot of these girls. Overall, it's been a good season. Good well, who is the one person you're rooting for? If for those of you who have not been listening to Sibling Rivalry. Mistress Isabel oh, yes. Brooks. She reminds me of my, my old times in New York City in the clubs. The girls be nasty. <laughs> Shady, but still with love and affection. Yes. Bianca is a bitch in the bars, right? Wait, wait, wait. It went from her to me. Go ahead, go ahead. Use me as your analogy. Bianca can be, she can be she can be shady, she can be mean, but Bianca has a heart of pure gold, and that's what I get from Mistress Isabel Brooks, and I love her so much. I think if she wasn't on this season, I'd be bored to sh I agree, and I think we missed out on Irene. Oh, if Irene was on this season, girl, her and Mistress, it, I think it would have been some good old um, season six, season five, oh, yes. season four kind of shade, you know? Can you believe that we're finally to the ending of this? I like how someone got eliminated every week and it feels like the culmination of a good season. I agree. And now we're finally to wrap it up. Tie the bow on the package. Mm -hmm. So here we are. It is the finale and we begin the finale with all of the eliminated queens showing up down the runway. What are you thinking about all the girls? What are you thinking about the looks so far? I am liking the looks because now the girls, they've done like a few clubs. They've done like, they got, they got a, a little extra change. Couple of dollars. A little couple, couple of dollars. The girls are coming out fully stoned and giving us the glamour that they want us to see. And for the most part, there are your misses, but mostly yeah. really good, really, really, really good work. You see Irene in her little alien fern gully fairy type thing. <laughs> and I thought, okay, well, this is kind of all right. Not my kind of look that I would uh -huh. enjoy, but I thought, you know, it's well executed. It looks funny. But then the <laughs> bitch starts to throw <laughs> butterflies. <laughs> now, you know, Asia O'Hara is triggered. I'm going to ask you, what were your memories of the finale from season 10? Ooh, the finale of season 10 was a lot of fun. I had been eliminated, mm -hmm. but I was still in the running for Miss Congeniality, right? Oh, that's a big award. It is a big award. What were your feelings that day? My feelings were great because that was the first year also that we voted for each other. Really? This was the first year that we voted for who we wanted to win. And, and people chose girls, you? They, right! They chose you. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it was a really good day. I also, that's when I had my fully realized sponge eleganza. Mm -hmm. I, I, you know, I guess you know the sponge drop. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Sponge, dress. Mm -hmm. sponge, sponge, sponge. So I did a really avant garde, editorial, beautiful, glam version of it. It was pretty sick. So it was hot glue sponges to your outfit. That's what you're saying. <laughs> Basically, all this avant garde, editorial. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> All right, so I want to talk to you about the top four. Yes. Are these the four that you were predicting from the beginning? One thousand percent. This was the top four. I saw Sasha, I saw Lux, I saw Mistress. I did not see Anitra. Mm. There's someone else I saw instead of Anitra. I don't remember who it was, though, but I did not see Anitra. But as the season went on, I saw it. Yeah. But just from the first episode, I was like, I don't think she's going to make it to the top four. But. She did a good job. I didn't know much of her before the show. Neither. So I was excited to see her on it, and I thought, wow, this bitch is a good performer. And yeah. you know, being a good performer takes you far. Yeah. You know, and what I liked is that she didn't have a sappy story. We heard it once, and then we moved on. Yeah. You know, that yeah. I was grateful to see. Sasha, of course, I knew. Lux, I did not know from New York City. Did you know Lux from New York? It's from like two seasons ago. None of the New York girls, I never know them anymore. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Do you hear that? It sounds like you're f old, <laughs> bitch. That's what it sounds like. You don't know the kids either. Booyah. In Mistress, Mistress was my girl, as we say, that old school drag, and the Love only it. thing I can read her for was that same blonde wig several times. <laughs> but she, but she restyled it a little bit every time, though. Sure, switched the part <laughs> from left to right, but nonetheless, it was the same wig. Bitch, you got some of Miss Boatneck dress. It's actually cowl neck dress. All right, 
Well, we're now gonna talk about the looks of these top four gals, and we begin with Miss Anitra. What do you think of this look? Um, I like Okay, this. stop. Once you start with, um, <laughs> that means you hate it. I like it in theory. I think the wig is too small. If it's not gonna be a kitty cat wig, it looks like she's trying to do a lot. Wait, 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 wait. You yeah. are telling someone that they need a bigger wig. You, Monet Pussycat Wig Exchange, is saying your wig is too small. Let's just talk about your pussycat wig. Your court reporter wig. Uh -huh. Your daytime apparel wig. Uh -huh. <laughs> your Zoom wig. That wig. That's, no, that bitch, that's my Zumba wig. I that, Zumba. Zumba, yes, because it don't get in your mouth. Hello, exactly, back. girl. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, first of all, those wigs are from a place called It's a Wig. That's literally the brand of the wig. Wait, it's, <laughs> it's called It's a so, Wig. Sometimes the jokes write themselves. <laughs> it's a wig. It's a wig. And I have it in, in 627, I have it in 613, I have it in 1, I have it in 1B, and I have it in 4. You have got a plethora of it. It'd be really funny if the company was called Shh. It's a wig. <laughs> should we make it? Let's make it. Shh. It's a wig. So wait, so you've got it in all colors. All colors. All colors. And when, what makes you say, mm, today's the day to wear that tiny little wig on my big man face? When I want to feel like a woman. That wig makes you feel like a woman. Like a, feel like a woman. <laughs> that is the tiniest little. And what of it, honey? It's glam. It's it, fabulous. Sure, sure. It looks like you're about to sell real estate. That's what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, back to Anitra. You say that she needs a little bigger wig. I agree, she could use some height. But yeah. I think this is, you know, very true to her. It's kind of samurai, warrior-esque yeah. kind of look. Yeah, it's not my favorite. It's not what I would choose to wear the finale. It's not getting expensive. Do you think that it would have been really odd for her to be like in an evening gown? You would have been like, mm, that's not her. I mean, yeah. look, we gotta be grateful it's not a bodysuit. True. So True. I, I think it's a good look for her. I think the hair could have been a little higher and it's a little more, more yeah. elongated. All right, next up we have Lux Noir London. I like this look. I think Lux looks very pretty in pink. I love the hair. I wish the ostrich was a little fuller, but I still think it's a pretty look. I think it's an okay look. It's not my favorite look from her. I've seen her with some other gorgeous looks. Mm -hmm. I think the hair is a little bit too small for her head. It's like it needs a little more yeah. volume. Yeah. But it's all right. And it looks like it's it's a shade of pink. I wish the color was a little darker. Really? Yeah, like to give me a little more pop. Yeah. I would have liked a little more color. Yeah, okay. That's just me. <laughs> Next, we have Mistress Isabel Brooks. I think Mistress looks great. I think Mistress has always given us this very drag, very well done, and I think Mistress looks fabulous. I think she looks great. It's kind of like a, a Mae West Miss yes. Kitty look, uh -huh. which I think looks fabulous. Yeah. I thought the fabric photograph's amazing. Yes. This liquid lame is, is absolutely gorgeous. It looks like water almost. It does, it's yeah. pretty amazing. Very beautiful. Beautiful water, and she's retaining it. <laughs> oh, she's shady, she can deal with it. <laughs> Next up. <laughs> well, she does. <laughs> Please keep that in, <laughs> she'll cackle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And finally, mm -hmm. Sasha Colby. This is dynamite. She looks so fierce. This is one of my favorites, and it's a play on John Galliano. Mm -hmm. I think it might have been 97, maybe mm -hmm. 96, 97, somewhere in there. Absolutely gorgeous look. I remember seeing it in the Galliano collection that was in shades of gray, yes. violence. Yes. Beautiful, yeah. violets. Did I say violence? I mean, violets. you choose violence or the pit stop, so. <laughs> Anyway, I thought it was gorgeous. I love it in the red. I think she looks amazingly yeah. fabulous. And it's completely different than what everybody else is yeah. wearing. I'm gagged that Sasha, Mistress, and Anitra all wore red. Yes. Lux is the only one in pink. I guess she didn't get the memo. And she tweeted about it too. Or maybe she just decided to be different. Maybe that's the case. Dare to be different? Would you be different? I have no choice but to be different. But you know, if it was up to me, I've said this all the time, mm -hmm. if it was up to me, I would wear black every day. Now, who has got your favorite look out of this top four? My favorite look is Sasha Colby, hands down. Mm -hmm. Stunning. I love the little parasol umbrella too, the whole, which is part from the collection. That she, yes, John Galliano. This is a complete recreation, but it's so well done. So, Monet, of the top four queens, who kept making you crack a smile this entire season? I'm gonna go with Lux. Yeah, Lux is very young, she has a great energy, and this thing is very effervescent. She made me smile a lot this season. Well, I have to agree. And one of the things that I loved most about her was that she knew that drag reminds us that life isn't meant to be taken so seriously. See? Yes. So, Rue enters and explains that each one of the top four will be performing their solo numbers. 
I know, this has taken back a couple seasons. Yeah. What was the first season that they did this? I think it was season seven. It was seven. The one after you. Do you like this format with each queen performing? Yes, you I do. like this way more because this format, you get both the your prepared thing mm -hmm. and you also get the lip sync for the crown at the end as well. So you kind of get the best of both worlds. First up is my girl, Anitra, performing Lotus. Lotus, Lotus, Lotus. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I think that this is strong. I think Anitra looks very good. Mm -hmm. I think that the makeup, the hair, the, the, the body suit is very good. I think it's a, it's, it's, it's a good performance. I think it's showing off her talent. She walked the f duck. Mm -hmm. And I think referencing yourself is good in this moment because you are here in this theater in downtown Los Angeles. All these f have been watching the show all f season long. Mm -hmm. So do the greatest hits. People like to come and do these things and try to do some brand new Bitch, do the greatest hits. What we Give love, them what they want. And found out about you this season. I think she's doing that. I think she looks gorgeous in this hair color. Yes. And I'm excited to see her perform. And to be very honest, so far, she is in first place. She is. I agree. I agree. She's right now. She's the first person that performs. Mm. So. Also, she's performing Lotus. That is my favorite Christina album. Really? Yeah. Next oh. to um, Stripped. OK. <laughs> Lotus. <laughs> it's not the same song, though, is it? It is the same, a different, no, it's not the same song. Same title. Yeah, same yeah. title. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now, we see that Anitra's father prefers one of the longer wigs. Mm. Do you think that's a problem? Do you think he's missing out on a pussycat wig? I think when Anitra is walk, walking her duck to the club, mm -hmm. her daddy's up in her drag, bro, <laughs> just like living his, which is bitch work. I love for that. <laughs> but you know he'd be up in that room twirling with that long wig on, getting uh -huh. his life, girl. I'm like, okay, daddy, I see you. The next queen we see to perform is Lux Noir London, performing the new hit, It's Giving Fashion. Fashion. What do you think about that performance? I think this is a good performance. She does a reveal in the middle, which did I did not like because, bitch, I didn't even know, bitch, I blinked and you were like, oh girl, I'll reveal. I was like, she did, what did she reveal to? Well, what's interesting is that it was red on top of red, so right. it didn't look like much of a reveal. And she's like a little little bit of nothing. Girl. I mean, she's a little bit of nothing. I think she took off her ring. Okay, that's she what she did. She reveal. removed her jewelries. Like, and... I just, I didn't even see it. It didn't make, it, it was not impactful mm. at all. So I think, well, compared to Anitra, who do you think is in the running? Oh, def Anitra's performance was stronger mm. than Lux's, for sure. And what have you thought about Lux this entire season? I haven't liked Lux this season, but I liked her more for TV mm -hmm. and, her, sure. and her great looks. Yeah. I think she was fine in challenges, but she was great TV, and she had really stellar looks, and I think that's what carried her to the finale, not necessarily her performing prowess. So listen, I've been talking a lot of shit, but here comes a moment in the show where mm. I'm like, girl, girl. They're actually doing something you call giving the Lifetime Achievement Award to a person yeah. who is impactful and amazing, and it goes to my absolute favorite, Bob Mackie. The first annual time. First cool. time, and it should be Bob Mackie. What are your thoughts on Bob Mackie? Uh, Bob Mackie obviously is a visionary in costume design and 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 just fashion couture. He has dressed all the grand dame divas, you know, from Cher to Tina Turner. All of them. Paul. Yes. And fun fact, Bob Mackie was, as they said, the very first guest judge on RuPaul's Drag Race. Yeah. I mean, and this man has been around for, he's dressed, as we've said, everybody from Cher, Carol Burnett, Diane Carroll. He, he made Jesus his little robe that he used to wear around. Did, he did, yeah. he did. He, he spangled it and beaded it for Jesus. You know. That's it, that's amazing. <laughs> no, an amazing designer, and it's so great to see that he's still around and still designing. I know, I, I do you think he could design something for me? It would be a treat. Hopefully it's something with a veil. <laughs> Preferably made of lead. <laughs> Bob Mackie, we love you, baby. We do, Bob. Yeah. He lives in Palm Springs. Hopefully, I'll see him oh, soon. Are y'all neighbors? No, we're not that close. Oh, okay. <laughs> he doesn't have that kind of money. <laughs> now, back to the top four. Here we are now with Mistress Isabel Brooks. Mistress. Mistress, what did you think about Miss Nursey Nurse? This was a reveal I thought that worked. Well, she's performing a song, Delusion. Delusion. Delusion, because she, she was all about the delusion yeah. the entire season. She did miss the dancing a little bit. There were a few missteps with the dancing. Well, she's not a known dancer. Yeah. She says herself yeah. that she's not good with choreography. Yeah. But I thought, yeah, it didn't, it seemed kind of um, rehearsal. Yeah. You know, like yeah. marking it as opposed yeah. to performing it. Bitch, when they picked that bitch up into a split. Oh! Girl. I was guffawed. I was I almost fell over my chair. And but she was holding that core. Honey. Those legs were exactly. Bitch. Honey. 
What's this? What's 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 flat? How many degrees is that? No, 180 degrees. That let me just tell you something. I am so glad they did not drop her because if they would have dropped her, people in China would have said, "Not again!" <laughs> Girl! We did a tsunami in New Jersey, girl. <laughs> yeah, it was really, 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 I was like, wow, this is impressive. That was, and she impressive. did that. That was one of the most natural things she did in that entire number. <laughs> and finally, we see Sasha Colby. Miss Colby is performing the song, Goddess. I mean, it was so, so good. Incorpor again, referencing yourself, the neck snaps, mm -hmm. and doing playing with the hair she came out as the snake. Yep. The choreo was so, it was, it was fabulous. For us who have known her for so long, it's just so great to see her shine and get this moment. And, and to everyone else, it's like, oh my God, it's a revelation. No bitch, this is what drag is. This is what we used to see for years. This is what a true performance artist is. So I'm excited to see her perform and knowing that she's got an eye for what's right. Do you know what I mean? She doesn't yeah. look awkward. She doesn't look mm -hmm. uncomfortable in absolute any of this at yeah. all. She looks like a star. Every drag queen we've had here at Pit Stop has been saying, of course, Sasha Colby. Sasha Colby's my favorite. Have you been enjoying Sasha the entire season? I've been enjoying Sasha a lot. I think that Sasha, she had a, a little bit of a slow start, mm -hmm. but once she got going, the bitch got going, right? Yeah. Like, from the time her, from her first win, that the acting one with the, the commercials, mm -hmm. she's, been, she's been going full steam ahead. And I think that, she is coming into this finale and really like driving it home. She's like, I'm that bitch. RuPaul, give me this mother check. Stop playing with me. Did you think that she lived up to everyone's high expectations? I think she did. I think that she had a lot to live up to, right? And she definitely did it in this final performance for me. Okay, now, there's uh, something I need to talk to the public about because we have not talked about this the whole season, but since we're here at the finale, it's important for me to let everybody know. We have to give credit where credit is due. And as much praise as Sasha has been getting for all of these performances, uh -huh. I got to be upfront. I am the one who choreographed all of those numbers. That is my work. Are you serious? There's my work. It's my work. Bianca. It's my work. Wow. There You're it so is. Generous. She's a fraud. You She's a fraud. Really all me. All me. So at last, we get to the critical moment of the finale when the queens go from four to two. RuPaul announces that the top two queens are Anitra and Sasha. What do you think of these top two? This felt right. Mm -hmm. Definitely Sasha. Mm -hmm. And I think out of the other three, Anitra had the strongest performance. So you agree? I agree. Do you think that Mistrix and Lux, who actually look a little piss? <laughs> Bitch, a little. <laughs> Mistrix is <laughs> not <laughs> playing. Okay, their faces cracked. They ain't Girl. happy. But don't you think that they should be proud of their run? I mean, don't you think you sit back eventually, maybe not in that moment, you're gonna go, you know what? I had a great time. In that moment, it is easy to feel real upset yeah. and think that you were robbed of something that you deserved. Wait, 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 this sounds like you're saying that about you and Jinx. Is that the truth? <laughs> oh my God. She's saying you were robbed. You are. You were saying, she said it here, she was robbed by Jinx. <laughs> this Justice for Monet. <laughs> Justice for Monet. <laughs> But they should be proud of the work they've done. This is their first, this girl is our first time on Draggers. You made it to the top four. Yes. And people, you know this, Draggers is not about winning. It's about what you do with your time after the show. Like, exactly. spin the to gold. Next, we see Leland and Orville Peck perform Built on Drag from the Rusical Wig Loose. What do you think? This is very, first of all, very timely. When they recorded this episode last year, I don't think they could have foreseen where this country would be today. So having Orville and Leland do this, do this number, having the girls come out, I think that it is much needed. It is, it, we need this moment right now. And it's also, the song is a little bit of a bop. I like her. Do you think Orville is hot? I would do many things. No, 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 I don't mean in a sexual way. Oh. I mean hot because he's wearing a mask and can't breathe. Oh yeah, girl, of course he's hot, <laughs> but also. That fringe probably smells like breath. I mean, that's a lot of work. <laughs> it's also a very long fringe. It is. It's, it's like down to his, his pubes. You should have that starting from here <laughs> and bring it down. <laughs> Might make you look so I already hard. have it going on down here, it's braided. No. I braided bra it, I braided plat, up when I get in drag. You plait your pubes. Yes. That is talent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see. <laughs> it's like you got Coolio in your crotch. <laughs> ah. Okay. Is he dead? Yeah. Oh, he just died. He died like last, like oh, last year. That's why his name came out. Okay, who's another person with braids? So you braid your pubes? Yes. Let me see. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> bitch! It looks like Stevie Wonder down there. <laughs> 
thinking of Stevie Wonder. Now I'm blind. <laughs> Next, we see Willow Pill, the winner, and I had to look at my card, the winner of season 14 to give her crown away. Yes. Now, I had to look at my card because we forget how many. I knew Willow Pill was the winner. I just couldn't remember what season what it was. What season was So here is Willow Pill back again. And I gotta say, she looks Bitch. gorgeous. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Beautiful. The construction of the dress looks immaculate. This was absolutely beautiful and exquisite. Kudos, Willow. Gorgeous yeah. look. Yeah, she looks really good. So Willow Pill, the winner of season 14, then announces Miss Cornbread, who was Miss Congeniality mm -hmm. the same year. So here she is dressed up as, I guess, a beast a slash Lion King moment? Ox? Well, you think it is look. I mean, it's cool, but I don't know if I'm missing like what the- You're saying you hate it. No, I, I did not hate You're it. You're saying you hate that. it. Sounds like she Corn hates Red. it. She's very funny. She's very great on, on Twitter and I love Cornbread, but I just understand what the tie-in with her branding is. Yeah. And she's the past Miss Congeniality and she's here to perform an original song. Now that was dope. Okay, tell I us. I love the rap. That was, that this, this, little, this little song that she made for the Congeniality, mm -hmm. that, that's smart. You see, bitches that do things that girls haven't done before, because mm -hmm. I feel like she went to the thing, she was like, I want to do this, and they yeah. were like, sure, and it's very smart. I yes. thought it was great. And then Cordbread announces that Miss Congeniality of season 15 is... Malaysia Baby Doll Fox! Yeah, now, wow. now, you were shocked, <laughs> as so was I. I just didn't expect her to get it. I did not see this coming. Came out of nowhere. I did not see coming. I was yeah. thinking maybe Robin, or uh -huh. maybe I could see, honestly, Sasha Kobe winning Congeniality. Ah, uh, yeah. And I, we've never seen a winner win Congeniality and win the, the crown in one yeah. season. Yeah. And why not have that happen? I thought it'd been great to give it to Mistress. Mistress, <laughs> but she bitch, girl. <laughs> yeah, I was shocked if that Malaysia won, but good for her. Good for her, no, very good. Maybe now she'll shut up on Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> you, <laughs> you and Malaysia Well, you know they don't Twitter. stop on Twitter. Oh, this happened. To me, all oh, that happened to me. Let me explain my dress. Who cares? This happened so much this season, though. The girls would, girl, dissertation mm -hmm. on the social media about mm -hmm. their looks. And well, what really happened was, well, I was gonna do this, but it happened a lot this season. It doesn't matter. It's like how lucky you had this platform. Shut the f up yeah. and don't give me the history about that ugly f***ing dress. I can see that it's historic. I can see that it's nasty, but it still doesn't fix the fact that you ain't got no taste. Malaysia, if you have been personally victimized by Bianca Del Rio, I liked her. You should call one eight hundred exchange, and we'll take on your burdens, baby, and let this bitch have it. Okay. All jokes aside, Malaysia baby doll fox, congratulations. Then, Monet, we see the queen of all queens of All Star 7, Miss Jinx Monsoon, <laughs> perform When You're Good to Mama from Chicago. Seeing her in this light right now, is this triggering? Oh my God. No. Is it triggering? Say it. It's not triggering. Say it. It is not triggering. Say it. I can hear it in it's your voice. Not You're sad. You're sad. You're sad. <laughs> Dr. Phil is ending. I'm just beginning. You're sad. Uh -huh. uh, 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 uh. I tried so hard. I know. And I wanted to. I know. No, but isn't it amazing to see no. Jinx up there? Girl, it is. And she looks. She looks really good. Good. She looks. She looks good. the f good girl. Yo, and that's something we never say. Never Jinx say about and looking good <laughs> in the same <laughs> sentence. She looks amazing. She looks really good. That hair. The hair that looks dress. great. Mm -hmm. She looks and fabulous. And she sounds. Incredible. Like a songbird. Yeah, she sounds really good. She does. I, I, I couldn't be more proud of Jinx. She looks it's fabulous. And she's, it is. she's doing a great job. And it's great to see her shine. It really yeah. is. Good for you, Jinxie. Get it, girl. She looks magical. <laughs> oh my god, that was good. That's my Jinx Monsoon impersonation. That was great. And wasn't it so sweet when you see that little moment of Jinx, little 10 years ago Jinx, that little baby face? I mean, a child. A baby. A child. A baby. Finally, we get to the most important moment of the episode, the lip sync between a Anisha, Anisha. <laughs> she black now. She Anisha. <laughs> Finally, we get to the most important moment of the episode, the lip sync between Anitra and Sasha Colby. Girl. Girl. You know what I love? On my cards, they wrote, girl. <laughs> <laughs> How gay is that? Girl. 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 Here it is. Anitra and Sasha lip sync to Knock on Wood by Amy Stewart. Now. What are you thinking? I thought it was good. I mean, Sasha was clearly 
<laughs> we all know Sasha and I are not going to lip sync in this gown that you can't even f move it. Oh, the gown, the reveal. So we saw the reveal coming, mm -hmm. but then into the gown, I was like, oh, oh. you're going to do it in this gown? Mm -hmm. But then she did another reveal. And gave you what? Sex. Titties! 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 Ass! It was on display. Mm -hmm. It was on display. And Anitra was a little more subtle. I mean, she was dancing, doing the Anitra thing. Yeah. But she kept in that same body suit, and she had the heart reveal. I was a little confused as to why they, we, we were talking about the, a heart and mm -hmm. knock on wood. Mm -hmm. But it was, at least she planned something. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it was a different type of reveal. I was it, Matt? She was playing yeah. on your heart strings. What did a bleeding heart have to do with knocking on wood? All right, all right. So she so started pulling splinters out of her that's a different thing, you know that what I mean? talent. I see that. I thought they're both great performers, both doing something completely different. But yeah. I thought it could go either way. Yeah. It could go either way because I like them both. Well, Monet, Mama Ru has made her decision. And we have a winner, and it is Sasha Colby! Yay! Yay! Girl, duh! Uh -huh. Duh, girl. Yeah. Well done all season long. She looks great. She was funny, yep. she was a good dancer. Mm -hmm. She Everything that you want in a drag this winner, Sasha Kobe did this season, job well done. She did. Fabulous, Fabulous. congratulations, Miss Sasha. Girl. We all had faith in you. You did an amazing job. You should be very, very proud of yourself. And welcome to the winner's circle. Yay! Except when we, wait, hold on, let's talk about this. Now, first of all, I say winner's circle, but you're not really in the winner's circle. I am in the winner's no, circle. No, you're not, no, you're not. You and Trinity are like this little edge over here. You're like Florida. Where you're a part of the United States, but you don't really count. You have no impact. That's what it is, okay? That's what it is. I'm in the winner's circle. Sure, bitch. You're the winner's octagon. That's what you're in. But you're there. You're there. No, a job well done. I must say, Sasha, we have never had uh, someone who was so liked by all the girls that have come here. Yeah. I have every drag queen I met said, it's Sasha, it's Sasha, it's Sasha. And you didn't win just by name. You actually won because she was brilliant and talented and performing on the show. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. Right. Well, I must say thank you from the bottom of my heart, Monet, for being here with me today. You're welcome, Be Anything for you. Oh, too kind. And as always, thank you to Bubbly Sparkling Water and to this amazing season. Let's do a cheers. Let's do a cheers. Here we go. Cheers! Mmm. Mm. Okay, it really gets better every time. Yes, everything's better with bubbly. Mmm. Mmm. Yes, the mm. grapefruit. I, the, the flavors are percolating. Have you had my cherry? I will now. Mmm. Slight aftertaste. And thank you for watching The Pit Stop. Truly, this has been an amazing season. Season 15 will go down as one of the best. Truly, one of the best. And I must say that I'm very proud of myself for being a kind, genuine person this entire season. I didn't... <laughs> You're good. You should just stand up. That was good. That's funny. <laughs> I love Sasha, yeah. but I would say Anitra's story I thought was compelling. So I thought, yes, 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 yes. Anitra. Anitra, okay. Mm -hmm. Now, if you were going just based on this one lip sync, who are you going with? Jinx. Oh, oh that was your season. <laughs> no, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> She's not triggered. She's not triggered. Oh, hey, everybody. It's Michelle Visage. Do you want Emmy-nominated gay <laughs> Well, then subscribe to RuPaul's Drag Race on YouTube.